Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create simple but really effective looking text styles using Photoshop 2023. So here I've got some examples of, of what you can do. We can create drop shadows, um, we can create some um, effects like grass effect, um, we can do uh, make it look a bit 3D like it stands out from the page. We can do all sorts of things really, really simply. So let's get started. I'm going to click on a new um, blank canvas and the tool that you're going to use for this one is the text tool which you'll find on the left hand side you simply select it and then you drag it on okay at this point you can type the text that you want so I'm going to put testing again um, and then at here th these are the simple things that you can do to text so you can highlight the text you can change the size of the text up here so you can make it smaller or larger make sure you press enter so I've made that smaller than 100 now down to 80 and I could raise it back up again to 100 if I wanted to make sure you press enter and um, you can also set the color by going over here so I can click on um, that and you can see there's a little drop um, a little dropper tool if you had an image on there you could select a color from that image I haven't so I'm just going to choose one of the colors from the options here and press OK you can make it go left center or right aligned um, and then there's also options about um, warping the text so you could create an ARP if you wanted to in fact I might keep that just because I like it so I'm just going to move it down a little bit and um, now it's a bit big it's not fitting on the page so the canvas so I'm going to highlight it again and I'm going to drop it back down to 100 so sorry 80 so I now have my testing ARP text I'm now going to show you some slightly more advanced, but still quite easy, text effects. But you're going to need to go over here down to the layers panel, and I'm going to double click on the layer that says the text. So text, I've put testing in there. I'm going to double click on the text layer. Make sure you click over here where there's, there's nothing. Don't click on that. Click on this little area here. Wait a couple of seconds till it opens, um, the properties dialog box. And then in this layer style dialog box, you can do all sorts of fancy things. So you can add a drop shadow. So I'm going to tick that, it's down here, but you must also click on it. Can you see that it's now grayed out so you can see that it's been selected. So you will be able to then make some changes to that. You can change the angle of the shadow. You can make it further away from the text. You can spread it out a bit more. And um, you can do other things as well. You can add a stroke around the text. So I'm going to click on that. I've ticked it, but I'm going to make the size of the stroke a lot smaller because at the minute it's a bit big and you can see there that I've now got a purple um, outline edge which is a stroke I'm going to change it to a lighter color just so we can see it a little bit better um, and there's all sorts of have a play it's really important that you don't be fearful of this section it might look complicated but you just need to tick and then click on the actual option and then just play around with the options in here I'm going to untick satin and um, one of the other things you can do is add a pattern so I'm going to choose pattern overlay, I'm going to tick it and I'm going to click on it and then I can choose the pattern. It's default to these leaves, but I can go in there and there's all sorts of different things that you can choose. Um, I'm going to maybe choose some water and um, click back on that. And I've got sort of water in there with a drop shadow and stroke around it. I'm going to press OK. OK, the next thing I want to show you is how to use um, the tracking, which you will need to double click on your text to highlight it. And then over here you will see in this little panel properties panel over here that you've got a tracking option which means that you can space out your letters or you can make them closer together now this is quite important if you're working with a very particular width um, or dimension of a, of a canvas and you want it to fit fit properly okay so I've made that quite close there I've made it set to 10 and um, you'll be able to see that if I click off it um, or I could spread it out the final thing I want to show you is how to save your fancy text. Now, if you're typing directly onto your project, then that's fine. You just save it along with everything else. But if you're creating something that you want to place on top of a project in the future, then you will need to remove the background and crop it and save it as a PNG. So simply click on your background, press delete on your keyboard. It's now got a transparent background. I'm going to crop the canvas so that it just fits the text. So click on your three dots if you're crop tool is not visible um, and you'll be able to see it there it might come up as a list choose it from the list it looks like this and then you can crop down your canvas so that it's just covering the size of your text press enter on your keyboard and you will need to save that 
or export it rather if I find it for you now there is file export as a PNG quick export as a PNG to maintain that transparent background you will then be able to open that up in your other projects and it will have a transparent background and you'll be able to place it um, on your other projects okay everybody have fun